This is one of the biggest parcels from AliExpress we've ever received. We were really concerned about whether it would arrive intact. In order not to waste time, let's take a stationary knife and start unpacking at once. Luckily, the box looks intact. There is a small tear on the side of the box, but it's definitely not critically damaged. Cookie, what are you doing? Are you insane? This is not your box. I'm a human and I'm in charge. You're a cat and you're supposed to obey me instead of biting. I wanted to keep the intrigue and not say what's inside the box, but you've probably read the title of the video and guessed it's an aquarium. What you don't know is that it's probably the most technologically advanced and sophisticated aquarium in the world. From the Chinese brand Xiaomi. In this video, we'll show you how it works and test if it's actually autonomous. After all, the Chinese assure that it requires hardly any maintenance and does everything by itself, even feeds the fish on a schedule. And you can control everything via your smartphone, even from another country. There are touch buttons for manual controls if needed. The lighting is provided by an LED lamp with different modes of operation, which will be shown later. The lamp has a tilt sensor and when you open the lid, it automatically turns off, so that it doesn't shine your eyes while you're doing something inside. On the sides of the lid, there are ventilation holes and displays showing temperatures and other parameters. Also, we can see an automatic feeder with a customizable amount of food supply. But the most important feature of this aquarium is the location of the filtration unit, heater and the water pump. Everything is located in the back of the aquarium and doesn't spoil its appearance. After removing the narrow cover, we notice a lot of different devices and the first one of them is the primary filter. It is fixed in a sturdy plastic case and consists of several layers of different materials. Next comes a big three-section unit, which consists of three filters, each of which performs a different function. Xiaomi claims that this is their own development, which should effectively purify the water in the aquarium. And the pores in these sponges are houses inhabited by beneficial bacteria that will clean the water from harmful substances. Additionally, we bought a special water heater for this aquarium. Its power is 50 watts and it fits perfectly into the compartment. By pressing a small button, you can set the desired water heating temperature, which is shown on the display. After disconnecting the power cable, we can check out the water pump unit. Xiaomi claims that their pump is the narrowest one on the market, and moreover, its blades have knives that shred all the debris that may fall on them. And indeed, the pump is very thin and compact, and then we'll hear how noisy it is when running. Well, it's time to launch the aquarium, and for the substrate, we choose this granular soil, which should cover the bottom with an even layer of about 4 to 5 cm thick. Then we tried various combinations of pebbles and twigs to get a more beautiful arrangement. Cookie liked this configuration the most. Afterward, we went to a pet store to choose the inhabitants for our aquarium. There were so many beautiful fish and plants that I wanted to buy them all. But our aquarium is rather small, so there is enough room for only a few of them. They also offered me water from their aquarium for $5, which will help us balance the ecosystem in our aquarium much faster. After returning home, we poured a few centimeters of water into the aquarium, so that the soil would hold better the vegetation that we intended to plant in it. First, we decided to place the largest plant in our aquarium. It is small for now, but in time it should grow significantly. After it comes this grass. It is beautiful, but at the same time requires a lot of light and care. There was a high probability that it wouldn't root in our place. But having torn it into pieces, we decided to plan such a lawn and see what would come out of it. We also managed to buy these plants, hermetically sealed in plastic containers with their roots fixed in some kind of a gel. We were unsure whether to plant them with or without a gel, but still decided to clean the roots. It was important to act quickly, because some of the plants remained on dry land, and we were afraid that they might dry out. Therefore, we regularly sprayed them with water. In general, after half an hour of our designing torches, we got such a swamp. 
which now needs to be filled with water. We placed a square glass at the bottom of the aquarium, which will soften the water pressure so as not to raise the muddy sediment. The seller advised us to take this liquid, which contains millions of useful bacteria that will help to launch the aquarium's biological activity. We also bought some kind of a liquid carbon, which according to the seller should stimulate the growth of plants and also liquid manure, which will nourish them. If you are familiar with this topic, write in the comments whether these elements are really necessary at the beginning or the seller just wanted to make money. We cover the aquarium with a lid, plug in the water pump and turn on the circulation of water. Such a small waterfall will provide circulation of water in the aquarium and oxygen in it. The only sound that can be heard is the murmuring of water. The aquarium lamp has seven different lighting modes, including the one intended to encourage active plant growth and colored decorative lights. In five days, we tested the water with a special strip and it showed that all the indicators were close to the norm. Which meant that we could try to populate the aquarium with the first animals, which were these cute red and yellow shrimps. Hopefully, they won't die because of our mistakes. It is not allowed to abruptly pour the fish or shrimp into the aquarium. You need to put a vessel with them inside the aquarium to equalize the temperature and gradually add water from the aquarium so that they get used to it. After an hour, pour the shrimp out of a beaker along with a pile of garbage and poop. But that's not a big deal. Our filter should be able to cope with it. We had to change some water every day and check out what the Chinese have come up with. We removed the plug on the pump, take the hose included in the kit and insert it into the hole. Magic happens and water starts pumping out of the aquarium automatically. This is much more convenient than scooping out the water with a glass or in any other way. Among all the variety of fish in the store, we chose four fish. Husband and wife grappies with beautiful orange coloring and also two catfish, which will be able to pick up the food that fell to the bottom. They have been kept in a small beaker for so many days and now they are released to settle in our aquarium. Now we can properly check how the automatic feeder works. We need to choose food that will be fine and won't clump together. Pour it inside, set the smallest portion because we only have a few fish for now and press the feed button. The device turns and the inhabitants get their portion of the goodies. It can be controlled and configured by connecting a smartphone via Wi-Fi. Still, I have to find out how to do it. Now, we just have to wait and observe the process to figure out how this automatic aquarium will cope with its function and show it to you in one of our next videos.